we're going to talk about the way the Biden Harris administration and the Democratic Party has felt toward cryptocurrencies. First of all, let me start at the top and explain a little bit about what cryptocurrencies are for those who may not be that familiar with it. They are basically either payment systems, smart contracts, tokens and coins, stable coins, and something called central bank digital currencies. Now, I'm going to demonstrate to you in a moment how the blockchain works. You see this book I have in my hand? This book in my hand, imagine if you were all computers sitting on the network and this is what I was going to post on blockchain. I'm giving this book to my son. So what just happened is you just recorded timestamp an immutable transaction that's permanent onto a ledger system that's traceable that you all have a copy of without any central point or intermediary. Why that's important is because of trust. The reason why people use banks and insurance companies is because you're dealing most of the time with someone who you've never met when you make a transaction. And what Bitcoin does, and what blockchain does, it gives you that element of trust. So it's almost like a cash-to-cash -cash transaction. Okay. Now, there are, there are various advantages and disadvantages of cryptocurrencies. Basically, they are secure. They're guarded by blockchain. The transactions are fast, cheap. They're full tolerant. As I said, there's no third party involved. So you don't need someone to instill trust. But there are many, many issues. There are many different types of cryptocurrencies out there. Literally thousands. And 90% of them, greater than that, are losers. But there are some good ones. They're very high volatile, very high risk, low, low regulated. Now we're going to talk about central bank digital currencies. This is all important because it's going to give you, by the end, you'll have a flavor on how the Biden-Harris administration and Democrats look at crypto, as we talked about before. Now, a central bank digital currency is a digital currency that's designed to replace paper currencies at a certain level. They're not intended to expand the commercial banking industry. And the benefit of a central bank digital currency is the settlement times are faster. Typically, it may take days to sell a transaction, and then you have to worry about the fluctuations between the currencies. They, are, they offer less privacy than central banks, I believe. They don't conflict with central banks, but the biggest issue if you're going to look at it in the United States, is that the, the, dent, the central bank digital currency being proposed is called FedCoin, which would mean that any transaction that you made for $600 or more has to be done with, the, with FedCoin, which means they have a record, the federal government has a record of every transaction you make over $600. Um, in some cases, in some countries, they studied this and they said the economies might fail because the underground economy is that large, but that's not case in the United States. Now let's get to 
the Biden Harris Democratic position on big on crypto assets. Executive Order One Four Zero Six Seven under the Biden Harris administration means meant when it was issued that the government wants to treat all the cryptos as as in one general way. They are very concerned with consumer protection, stability, risk. Is it safe? Is it affordable? And is there a national risk? The interesting, the person who runs the administration of cryptocurrencies and stocks is the chairman of the SEC, Security Exchange, Security Exchange Commission. And um, he, Gary Gensler is his name, he was a professor at MIT, actually I took a little course underneath him. Let me say before he became a chairman of the SEC, he had a different attitude toward crypto assets as he does now. But what they have done is they delayed um, the Bitcoin ETF. Finally, they delay after delaying the Ethereum ETF, it's coming to bear. They've not been friendly. Uh, they issued Wells notices. What a Wells notice is, is a notice that's sent out to an organization saying they're going to be investigated by the SEC. Typically, when that happens is there's something called the Howey test, which became to bear in the 1930s, in which it gives their certain parameters if something uh, financial meets these parameters, it's looked at as security, which means that it falls under the jurisdiction of the Security Exchange Commission. And that's what's happened with every single request made by the Bitcoin companies, um, Robinhood, Coinbase, Consensus, Uniswap, Binance, Ripple, Kraken, they all had Wells notices and all had issues with, with the SEC under Gary Gensler. So I could say, say to you that generally the Biden-Harris Democrat administration has not been that friendly toward the Bitcoin piece, but they have been friendly toward FedCoin, which means that they are somewhat in favor of a digital currency that would be used for purchases over $600. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up and uh, please tune in for more. Have a great day.